Hello everybody, my name is Bill and I know stuff. And what I know today is how to use chroma keys in Shotcut. Now chroma keys are often referred to as green screen, which in this case, I actually have a green background on here, but I'm gonna show you that you can use almost any color and chroma keys are great if you're doing uh, intros, extros, or even just wanna add a little something to your video where you have a voiceover where you're there, or you wanna point something out during a video, they're kind enough. I like chroma keys, they're fun. I use them very regularly. All righty, let's get this done quickly. We're gonna go ahead and open other and color and click a color again and we want to pick a light color you can use what you whatever you like but I'm going with this very light blue and drag it down to the first track go ahead and add a second video track and this is when you want to open the file that you're going to apply the chroma key to now I've pre-done mine and it's on there and I'm just going to drag this blue the length of the track and what this is for is when I apply the chroma key, I can see what is becoming transparent. So select filters plus video, scroll down to chroma key advanced. You're going to check hue chroma intensity. Next to key color, get that little eyedropper, then click out here and grab, grab the green. This is normal, you can see I just turned all the green transparent and you say, hey, your face wasn't green. Well, it might have been just a little bit, but it's working on hue right now. So let's run this down to maybe, oh, I don't know, five, six, maybe a little more. And we'll take a quick look at it to see if anything looks out of whack. So I can see a little bit more. I'm gonna run the intensity up and you actually iterate through these until you're happy with them. And I'm going to take this down to, let's just go with a five there. And I think that's good. All right. So this blue track down here, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to open another file. And this is where I'm going to apply the background that I have. So I'll open that up. I'm going to draw it drop that on there and then we'll play it. I'm going to do a little razzle dazzle when I'm doing this. I'm going to start off with the background and then I'll apply the chroma key and you'll see it change. I am taking a very low key approach to this. I'm using my cell phone, whatever ambient lighting that I have when I'm doing this to show you that you don't need a bunch of high end equipment to make chroma keys work. Alrighty. And uh, my, that's also probably why my audio is a little tingy because it's just recording on the cell phone. I'm not doing anything high end with this to show you that it can be done, that you can do it, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to have some fun with these chroma keys. Alrighty, so there's the, there's the first uh, use case with the green, which is definitely the easiest. Now let's go ahead and do another one with that fuchsia. And I'm just going to wipe the whole thing and walk through it again. Picking color. Going to click that blue because I, I like it. It's easy for me to see. Shows up immediately. Drag it to the first track. Add a second track. Open up the file that you want to edit. All right. We're going to go down there. I'll get it all on. All right. Same thing with this one. Only we'll probably end up with some red residue on there, but go ahead and select the track, filters, plus sign, chroma key advanced. Same thing, hue chroma intensity, eyedropper, pick a spot. Now, you notice there's some different shades here. We may end up actually picking a different spot if we can't get it good enough for, for what we're happy with to start with. All right, you see the red on my lips has a tendency to hang around a little bit more. All right, and it's bleeding through the back. So the first thing I want to do is just check my skin. Does that all seem like it's okay? Looks reasonable to me at this point. Let's go ahead and run that intensity up. Well, that took care of that. 
Anything else? All right, I think that looks reasonable. Let's take a quick look. Your background. It is actually a little bit harder to use because. All right, I'm gonna go with that. And you notice you got some of this uh, around the fingers. We can try adjusting that chroma delta just a little bit, but fingers are a little bit uh, harder, especially because we're actually moving right there. We're gonna go ahead and go with that. We'll delete that bottom one, just the color. We'll go ahead and open up the background we're going to use for this one. Drop it on the track. That one's a little longer. I'm going to size her down. All right. And go from there. All right. This is my fuchsia background. It is actually a little bit harder to use because it is red based and people have more red on them than other things. And I just wanted to use that to show you that it's possible to do this even when you have colors. Now, if there's, if it's too close in uh, hue, things like that, it makes it very difficult, but it's still possible to do and come out with some reasonable effects. All right, everybody, hopefully you learned something from that. You don't need a lot of high end equipment to make chroma keys work for you. You can use almost anything and uh, still come up with some decent effects. I'm Bill. I know stuff. If you've got questions, please hit me up in the comments. Y'all be good. Bye-bye.